Uh, now, on June 1, 2020, uh, something else happened. Uh, can you tell us about that? You accompanied the president uh, on a walk. Yeah, well, I'm, 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 you know, I'm heading down uh, to the FBI headquarters downtown the uh, late afternoon, early evening of June 1st. Uh, Millie's already down there. And we get called back to the White House around 6.20 or so because we're told the president wants an update on what is going to happen that day. So uh, my, my convoy turns back around. We hustle down to the White House. I arrive outside the Oval Office and announce that I'm here and ready for the meeting. And I'm told uh, the meeting's canceled. There will not be a meeting. So my inclination is to go back out and prepare for uh, what was going to happen that night because it was very uncertain and we had guard, uh, National Guard troops there, and, and I wanted to be present and make sure everybody was ready. But I was told, no, uh, just hang around. The president is going to want to go check out the damage at the church, and uh, we'll, we'll probably invite you to join him. So we wait. We realize that the president is speaking at that point in time uh, to the press and another part of the White House complex. Eventually, it ends. We get lined up, and we're told, uh, you know, go meet the president at the other end of the White House. And when we get there, I say to him, you know, Mr. President, where are we going? What are we doing? Something to that effect. And he pretty much turns and starts walking and tells us to follow him. And next thing you know, we found ourselves walking outside the gate. Uh, we turn into a crowd of uh, reporters, photographers, and we realize at that moment it's a, it's a political event that we should not have been in.